See the members grow. So Luke, which one of these birds is yours here that you want to do? This one right here. Here, let's store that one away. Okay. We'll come in here because sure. we're going to tell the story about shooting it and stuff. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here at the 2019 grouse camp, trees for tomorrow, put on by Rough Grouse Society. And uh, how many people do we have here? 100. 15, 125, somewhere in that ballpark. 125 people signed up, and we were really hopeful people would uh, uh, have good luck today and shoot some birds. Luke, Luke Stats won the video contest. Yeah. Rough Grouse Society had a video contest for a free entry to the grouse yeah. camp. Yeah, so that was awesome. I got three free tickets. I was able to take my brother-in-law and my good friend who uh, helped raise the birds and yeah. had the land that we hunted them, and we had, yeah. had a video of raised quail where we were doing a little dog training and so yeah we were able to send, send the video in and get three free tickets so it was nice we could all get up here so luke and his guys and they got paired up with another guy what's his name that's philip philip shot his first grouse they yeah. shot three grouse today so we're gonna just give you a little unboxing and show you what this west nile virus test kit is all about um if you take a look it just has a real simple box there's an identifying number, kit number 965, and you'll see when we fill out the paperwork what that's all about. All right. Have you ever done one of these, Luke? I have not, I've but uh, one of my students, Dad, works for the DNR, and he gave me one, but I've yet to use it. This is only the second bird I've shot this year, so. So we'll show you what's in the box. Instructions. Gives you all the instructions for sampling to use gloves don't contaminate the sample okay. that kind of thing you get the sample and then basically get it on ice sure. so here's what we're going to be doing i don't know if you want to take a look at that and i'll sure. just get the stuff out handy little ziploc bag and this is the data sheet we're going to fill out and maybe we'll fill that out first here you fill the blue toe strip sure fill that out and i'll show rest of the stuff in here. This is a little container for we're going to put the heart in there. So they want the heart and a blood sample. Put it in the fridge, keep it cool. And then they've got the ice packs here, which this is a fresh pack, so we don't have frozen ice packs, but we'll figure out a way to keep it cold. Because then when you ship the sample, you put this ice pack in here. And these are the wicks right here. They give you a couple of them. So we're going to open up the cavity of the grouse, try and get some liquid blood from probably the lung area. And also when we remove the heart, you might get a couple drips of blood. There's not a lot of blood in a grouse. The hearts are pretty small, so sometimes that can be kind of a challenge. you got to work at it a little bit. So Luke's filling out the data sheet, where he shot the bird, exactly where he shot the bird with coordinates. <laughs> we're going to get it filled out. Put the heart in here with the blood sample, pop that in here, put the ice, when these are frozen, put them in there, seal it up, and then you drop that in this and, and ship it out. So it's all ready to go, you just drop that in the mail, the shipping is paid, and that goes to WDNR Science Operations Center. Dip the narrow wick end of the Nabuto strip into any fresh liquid blood in the girls. So you're trying to pop these legs open. I try and open the cavity up. Sure. Try and avoid, you know, like typically you just, you know, if you're slicing the breast out, yep. this comes up. But yep. What I'm going to try and do is get into the cavity. Just make a slit there. Try and reach in here and keep the organs down. Just try and lay it on there. Just kind of push flatter. it down in there, yep. I mean, you're going to get some lung matter on there and stuff, but it's important to soak it. Sure. Like both sides of it. Pull her out once and see what you got on there. Oh, yeah, that's good. Good? Yeah. Nice. That's good. So does that go in the bag or does that go in the container? Allow the entire narrow portion of the strip to become saturated. Do not cover the wide end. If blood gets on the wide end, that's okay. Allow blood on the strip to dry completely, then place into a small plastic Ziploc 
bacteria. So okay. well, let's do another one just in case. So that's sure. got to dry. Yep. That's the takeaway there. All right, gently remove the heart from the chest cavity. Try to minimize handling and damage to the heart. Gently place the heart into a into the small plastic jar with the green lid. Place this jar back into the Ziploc bag that it came in. And this is the heart right there. I'm just going to pull that out. And that is going to go in that container. Why don't you grab that while I have it fresh here. Gross heart. This guy's a school teacher. He knows how to follow directions. Is that right? We're gonna let those. Dry. We're gonna let those dry. Yeah, yep. And then you put them back in that. Yep. The moist strips. And then that and this together go in this. Sure. And then that all goes in that with ice then when says, you ship it. Yeah. Then it says keep both the blood and the Nabuto strips and the heart sample cool, refrigerated, and ship the same. Or the samples the same or next day after harvesting. Do not freeze. Sample only one per kit. Nice. There you go. Then what? That's it. That's it. And you just gotta fill out the data sheet. Yep, and then take package. your meat. Very nice. So that's easier than I expected. Yeah, these